Now, parents who've been bereaved or children who've lost their parents through the infected blood scandal will now receive an interim payment to recognise their loss. This follows a report from the inquiry into thousands of patients who were infected with HIV and hepatitis C through contaminated blood products in the 1970s and 80s. And in the last hour following that report, the Cabinet Office have released this statement. The infected blood scandal should never have happened. Sir Brian Langstaff's interim report will help the UK government and devolved administrations to meet our shared objective to be able to respond quickly when the inquiry's final report is published in the autumn. We thank the chair and the inquiry team for this detailed interim report and the government is continuing preparations for responding to the final report when it's published. Well, our correspondent Ashna Hurinag was at the inquiry and has this update. This report is about 100 pages long, as you say, it's the secondary interim report. Last October, it was recommended that interim payments should be given to the partners of those victims who were part of this, who were infected by the contaminated blood scandal that started all the way back in, 19, in the 1970s and as recently as 1991. This latest recommendation of, of a number there are, but the main one being that compensation payments uh, will now be given, interim payments will be now be given to bereaved uh, parents but also bereaved children. Here is Sir Brian Langstaff, chairman of this inquiry, giving his reaction to today's announcement. My conclusion is that wrongs were done at individual, collective and systemic levels. I will set out the detail of what happened and why in my full report, but my judgment is that not only do the infections themselves and their consequences merit compensation, but so too do the wrongs done by authority whose response served to compound people's suffering. Well, someone who can give me a little bit of reaction to this announcement is Rosemary, whose son Nicholas, uh, or Nicky as you knew him, passed in 1999. Is that 1999, right? 1999, yes, when he was 25. Your reaction to today's announcement, please, Rosemary. Well, this has been a long time coming for parents to get recognition of their losses and acknowledgement for their children's lives and their children's suffering. Not all parents still are, will not... Um, gain anything from this but for those that whose children with young children were not in relationships at long last their children's lives have been recognized and acknowledged it's taken a long long time to get to this place we now have to wait for the government to respond to Sir Brian's recommendations um, Hopefully they, that will be done in a timely fashion. And that is the hope that now the government will review the pay. Master General will then hopefully implement some of those payments. Rosemary, thank you very much. And that is the plan now, that um, they will review those recommendations as outlined by Sir Brian Langstaff. And hopefully for people like Rosemary, there will be some justice done.